Sup guys, this is your weekly dose of geography. Just take a look at this, a Brazilian teacher managed to draw a world map freehand in under 30 seconds. What do you think, did he do any good? Can you believe that no hurricane has ever crossed the equator? And it's because near the equator, where it's like really hot, the spinning does not work well and so the hurricanes don't form there. If we compare Chile to Cuba by the shape of the country, they actually look pretty freaking similar. This ocean is over one mile deep and if you think about it, this human is probably the last one to ever touch that rock. Here's a map showing the Roman Empire at its peak versus the Mongol Empire at its peak. And now by population wise, 60 million versus 110 million. Uh, yo, can you scratch my back? Okay, sure. Where? Republic of Congo. All the jokes aside, I can't figure out if this is one of the worst or best tattoos I've ever seen. We welcome Finland as the newest member of our alliance. Hell yeah! As an Estonian, Finland joining NATO is the most precious news someone could deliver us. NATO's border with Russia just doubled and now let's hope Turkey and Sweden can talk it through also. And while already mentioning military, here are all the foreign military bases in Africa. Can someone explain to me why in the middle of Poland, on a random island, w wait till you see it, there is literally a freaking dinosaur. Are you kidding me? And here's another one. Explain to me why there are so many shipwrecks in this location. Here's one and if you move down south a little bit, there are two shipwrecks located in the same place. Imagine seeing this when you look down while you're swimming. And the last one, but I can't tell if this is a shipwreck or just some random waves. The most populated towns of Europe in 1050. During this year, Rome had a population of only about 30,000, while at its peak it had 1.5 million. Okay, if you're still here, comment I love geography and I'll be happy I guess. Well, bye bye.